Hi, today I want to talk about things that both candidates and hiring managers can do to make the hiring process work smoothly. I get a lot of feedback. I got a lot of feedback from clients and I got a lot of feedback from candidates. So today I want to focus on the piece that is that concerns both parties. Um, I'll do another blog on the things that recruiters do that can make things a little bit more smoother. But so, so the first thing is tell the truth. And when I say tell the truth, I mean give feedback. So hiring manager, as much as it's difficult to give negative uh, feedback to someone, it is very important for them to receive it. Um, if you want to give their feedback to the recruiter, fantastic, and we'll pass it on to the candidate because that's a way of growing. I know it's not easy to do. But at the same time, candidate, what you need to be is be truthful as well too. I've seen some candidates disappear after getting an, a job offer because they don't know how to turn the job down. Not the best way to do things. That leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth. The sex, next thing is be realistic. So hiring manager, you need to be realistic about how many years of experience, what you want to pay, um, and try not to shortchange the candidate. But at the same time, the candidate has to be realistic about market conditions, what they bring to the table, how many years of experience they bring to the table, so that we can meet somewhere in the middle. So often, people start off with a number in their heads, particularly when it comes to salary, and they will not budge on that, and they'll leave some, a great opportunity on the table or turn off the potential employer for two, three thousand dollars. So you have to do your homework so that you know that what you're asking for is realistic under the conditions of the market. Next thing is be prepared. I mean that both for the hiring manager and for the candidate. So I've heard candidates tell me that it was obvious the hiring manager did not read their resume. Ouch. I've also heard many times from hiring managers that the candidate didn't do any preparation for the interview. If I could tell you the number of times I've heard that, that's probably the number one complaint from hiring managers. You've got to go in prepared and respect each other's time. So that means hiring manager, show up on time. Candidate, show up on time. And be prepared for one another so you can use that time for your interview very well. Next thing is relax and get to know each other. So yes, you gotta tick the boxes and make sure they have this knowledge, they've done this, this is a number of years experience, but people buy from people. So and this is a selling transaction. You're trying to fi figure out if this is the right person for you, and you're trying to figure out if this is the right job for you. The more, the quicker you get through the checklist and get to know each other, you'll start to understand fit and if you like each other and can you work with each other. So try both of you to relax during the interview process. And the next thing is hiring manager, don't be afraid to tell that person in front of you that you like them and you want to move forward in that opportunity. And, and if you're a candidate, don't be afraid to ask for the job. Of course, timing is everything. So use these tips wisely. Make sure that you're doing, you're bringing your best foot forward candidate and hiring manager make sure you're representing your organization the best way because these people talk they tell each other and you don't want to have a bad reputation on the market as a hiring manager I'm Don Williams I created on LinkedIn and Twitter happy selling